Hello YouTubers, my name is Jonah and today's tutorial how to replace a screen in your windows. So take a look at my window. I've got a big hole right at the bottom left right here. I think a rat chewed into this fiberglass screen. It's a good size hole too, about two and a quarter inch by one and a half inch. Anyway, that's why we're going to replace this screen. The first thing we'll do is remove the screen window. Remember these spring loaded tabs. Their position is on top. Now we always start at the corner of the screen. Carefully try to pry off the black rubber spline. So the flat screwdriver didn't work for me. I think the Phillips screwdriver is going to work much better. What do you think? Just pry off a small piece of the rubber spline. Then pull the rest of it with your hands. So the rubber spline is still in great condition, so we're going to reuse it. So don't throw it away. Starting at the corner again, just push out the old screen and peel off the rest of it. This old screen, you can definitely throw it away. So now I bring in my aluminum screen. The aluminum screen is much stronger than the fiberglass screen, but it may not be as forgiving as the fiberglass. So this screen was left over from my door screen that I installed last year, but it's still big enough to fit this window screen. You may see a few wrinkles in the aluminum screen, but I'm not worried about it. It's going to get stretched out and it will go away in time. And it's only my basement window. Nobody ever sees it. Now I'll position my screen so I'll be ready to cut it. I'll cut close to the outside edge of the frame. Then I'll grab the original rubber spline and start it at the corner. I'll press down on it just to hold it in position. Then I'll take my rolling tool and slowly roll it across the rubber spline into its channel. So you'll have to be very careful at this time because aluminum is not as forgiving as the fiberglass screen. Just roll it back and forth a few inches at a time. I say slowly but you know I have this in fast motion just to save time. When you get to the corner, don't forget to stretch out your screen.
So when you're done, go back over it one more time, nice and slowly. And don't forget to cut off that extra rubber spline. Just remember, I've got this in fast motion right now, just to save time. Now, with your utility knife, cut out the extra screen very carefully. You may need a scissor to trim off that corner. Now, once you've finished trimming off the excess screen, this is what it should look like. So you may notice a few wrinkles on the screen, but I'm not worried about it. Like I say, it's in my basement window, nobody's ever going to see it, and it goes away in time. Now, let's install back our window screen. Remember these two spring-loaded tabs? They are positioned on top. Also remember which side is the front and which side is the back. The back will have the rubber spline so we cannot see it. Then we just insert the screen through its slot like so. Oops, butterfingers. So if you like my video or found it helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you can always get my latest videos. And as always, thanks for watching.